The Biography of Galileo Galilei Over 500 years ago, after the horrible Dark Ages, in the city of Pisa, Italy, in the 15th February of 1564, an Italian physicist, mathematician, astronomer, who is arguably the father of modern science, was born. Galileo was the first child of Vincenzo Galilei, a merchant and a musician, and Giulia Amonacci. The family moved to Florence, Italy in 1574. That year, Galileo started his formal education in the nearby monastery of Vallombrosa. Seven years later, he studied medicine at the University of Pisa. In 1583, Galileo developed new interests and began his studies in mathematics and physics, which ended his medical studies. In Pisa, at that time, there was only one notable science teacher who taught the ideas of Aristotle to him. Galilei didn't stay in the boundaries of theory, but experienced everything he learned academically. Because of financial difficulties, Galileo had to leave the University of Pisa in 1585 before earning his degree. Back in Florence, Galileo searched for a teaching position and continued to study mathematics and physics. He published two works that made his name well known. One was The Little Balance, and the other was a study of the center of gravity of various solids. After some ideas, he became a professor in the University of Pisa, but was hated by many people because he criticized Aristotle's teachings. To prove the incorrectness of Aristotle's theories, he did an experiment in the Leaning Tower of Pisa. Galileo moved to the University of Padova for research and study. He was very popular there. One day, a German scientist argued that the Earth revolved around the Sun and Galilei agreed with it. That argument brought a huge problem because the church and the society thought that the earth was the center of the universe. To prove his statements, he started to discover and create new inventions. One of Galileo's first inventions used a lot in daily life was the thermometer in 1606. The thermometer was bulky and inaccurate, but the first of its kind. One of his biggest inventions was the telescope. Galileo, in mid-1609, became intrigued in the Dutch invention of a device which could magnify objects and he made his own telescope. After that, he was able to make many important contributions to astronomy. For example, that the Sun, not the Earth, was the center of the solar system. He discovered Jupiter satel satellites and moons, sunspots, that the moon had craters, mountains, and valleys, the moon's Venus's face features. Some of these sketches are still around today. He created the sector, discovered the hydrostatic balance that was an accurate balance that could weigh objects both in water and in air, the theory of motion, and the study of pendulum. Galileo died of natural causes in 1642 when he was almost 78 years old. He was already suffering ill health, having been blind for several years and also having a hernia. At the time, he was serving life imprisonment under house arrest for his writings which contradicted the teaching of the Roman Catholic Church and supported Copernicus, which was the idea of the Earth rotating around the Sun, which was seen as heretic. How did Galileo have a crucial role in the Renaissance? Well, not only because he helped to break the grip that the Church held over the common people, but because Galileo's work represented such a leap forward in the 1,200 years of limited science advancements. 
In other words, there is no one alive on earth today who has not benefited, often immensely, from his heroic contributions.